Great and wonderful people, how on a day, welcome back to Tessis TV. We don't carry another open gate, so we can't give on a about waiting the sub for palace. As the information with the issues now from inside palace, be say, when Naomi Shilekola Ogunsi has succumbed finally to the truth, as Reverend Funke Adejumo advised her, to go back to the palace to enter back to the royal manor to go and take her position to go and marry her husband because right now we heard that a lot are going on in the palace that kabiesi might not come out publicly to say he is a man and when men cry women will laugh at men Sometimes you hear words like men don't cry, but sometimes inside they lose it. Yeah, we heard that for the past uh, few weeks, Kabiesi has not been himself in the palace. He has been trying everything possible to reach with Naomi to the extent that Kabiesi picked up his phone and called the Reverend Funke Adejumo. The reason why Kabi Esi, they always reach out to Levin Funke Adejumo is that uh, Levin Funke Adejumo takes Queen Naomi as her daughter. At the same time, Queen Naomi takes Levin Funke Adejumo as her spiritual mother. She is the one that has been helping Queen Naomi spiritually in prayers and fighting battles that has been coming her way. So when the thing don't leash Kabiesi to neck, when the pains of Queen Naomi don't reach Kabiesi to neck, Kabiesi picked up his phone, called Reverend Funke Adejumo and was like crying. That he has tried to swallow it. He has tried to endure, but he can no longer. He wants his wife back. Kabiesi was complaining so bitterly. That he knows the reason why Queen Naomi doesn't want to return back is because of the wives in the palace. And he has tried everything possible to see that he makes these Oloris leave and they refused. Even for those where they follow this gist and watching videos that come out from the palace will see that the Oloris are too relaxed to leave. They are not even talking about leaving. They are so relaxed. They are enjoying in the palace. Because you see this palace, they always get occasions, party autumn upon party, celebration upon celebration. For this past a week, we see how the palace has been bubbling with visitors, the first lady, the commissioning of the, of the projects that KBSC built in a life, a university, and a lot of things going on. And you see the lobbies, they are doing fashion parade with clothes. So you see that ah, the Oloris are not even planning to leave. They are all happy there. That is why they fight to say that Queen Naomi will not return because they knew that once Queen Naomi stepped her foot back in the palace, that they will lose everything. Yes, you think they don't know? They know more than us. They knew deep down in their hearts that the day where Mommy Tedeneka will go enter palace. Everything about them will end. No cameraman will be, you know, snapping them. Everybody's attention will be focused on the first wife of Kabiesi, which is Mommy Tedeneka. And for that, and for that, they are doing everything possible to stop the Naomi's return. They engage in serious uh, uh, use of a charms to stop Kabiesi and the Naomi's relationship. But if you see them, you think that. They don't know what they are doing. They knew exactly what they are doing. So, my correct people, as this matter they go, Kabiesi picked up his phone and called Reverend Funke and cried and complained bitterly to Reverend Funke at Dejumo that Queen Naomi is hurting him. Yes, that Queen Naomi is breaking his heart. That all he ever begged Mommy Tedeneka was for Queen Naomi to return back to the palace and stay as his wife. But Queen Naomi rejected, making terrible demands. 
and the demands work with Naomi they make that he has tried to fulfill it, it wasn't easy, it wasn't possible for him. That if it is possible to drive the Ulobis out, he would have done it long time ago and make with Naomi comfortable. But he has tried explaining to Queen Naomi that it is not easy, but Queen Naomi doesn't listen. So this is what Kabiesi complained so bitterly to Reverend Funke Adechuma. For Kabiesi to cry, just know that it is shocking him. Like I said earlier, Kabiesi might not come out on social media to cry for us. He is a king. He will maintain his tears. But that doesn't mean deep down in his heart that he is not feeling the heat. So, my correct people, we heard that uh, Reverend Funke Adejumo, after engaging in hours of call with Kabiesi, decided to discuss with Queen Naomi. And today will be Sunday. Reverend Funke, after his church service, immediately rushed down to uh, Queen Naomi's church in Akira to meet with her. And it was, we heard it was a, a longer uh, engagement of talks and advice. Reverend Funke, as we all know, is still married to her husband. It is a monogamous home, not polygamy. And they have married for 40 years. So she has already, already know the ups and downs in marriage. She has seen a lot too, and she has endured a lot. So we heard that Reverend Funke was like advising with Naomi. If you can endure, if you cannot endure, don't go back. But if you can, it is time for you to return. Go and make your husband happy. Go and be with your husband. Don't allow the Oloris to be the one to separate you from Kabiesi. Yes, because you might be thinking that ah, you are in your prime and that is why Kabiesi is rushing you. A time will come when Kabiesi will know how to endure the pains without you and Kabiesi will stop calling on you. And Kabiesi will stop requesting for you to go back. Now that Kabiesi is begging with everything that he has, for you to return back to the palace. Why not go back? Go and face your fears. You can't keep on running away from your fears. You can't keep on, you know, running away from all the things that the Olobis are doing to you. Why not go back and challenge them? Why not go back and fight for your position in the palace? This is the advices that I will heard. Reverend Funke Adejumo was given to Queen Naomi. But there was one thing Queen Naomi said that Reverend Funke doesn't know how to defend. Yeah, because like I tell you now, Queen Naomi is embodied with a lot of wisdom and intelligence from God. So we heard Queen Naomi ask uh, uh, Reverend Funke at the Juma a question. What if they harm Prince Tedinikau? What do I gain from going back? I cannot risk to protect my son. Yes. Correct and wonderful people. I beg make a great one first before we carry this hour of Procode Go. Good morning, afternoon, evening to you all according to your time. And the time will not take this. See this video. You are welcome back to Tessis TV. And we are still on the gist about waiting the sub for palace. So my correct and wonderful people we had mommy Tedinikao asked Reverend Funke Adejumo, a shocking question. What if I risk hurting my son? It's not that I cannot go back and face the Olobis. I am not scared. But I want to protect Prince Tedenekau from every harm. Yeah, because we all know that a lot of harm are coming his way. But when Naomi's prayer has been what is shouting Prince Tedenekau, Yes, it was Queen Naomi's prayer, the prayer of a mother, a true one. So don't think that uh, Queen Naomi is not doing anything. She's praying to protect her son. And that is the question she asked Reverend Funke at the Juma that Reverend Funke cannot answer. And Queen Naomi told Reverend Funke, it is not going to be now. I need to take care of my son and bring him in a way that pleases God and the community. So my correct and wonderful people, 
Now, waiting we hear what they've so for Palace has alleged that the Renfunke Ejima has urged Queen Naomi to return back to her husband's house and face her fears that things will get better. But Queen Naomi, I don't know whether she is going or not. My correct people make a nice man for this alleged information. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned.